Hey all, welcome to home school. Hope everybody are doing good. And I have come up with class 12 chemistry syllabus. As many of the students requested me to start with haloalkanes and haloarenes, here I am with the chapter haloalkanes and haloarenes. See, this is one of the most important chapters of class 12 chemistry because if you can clearly understand the concepts of this chapter, rest of the chapters in organic chemistry will become more easy. Okay, so try to understand every concept in a proper way. Fine. And the concepts that I teach in this channel is purely based on NCERT textbook because the NEET examination or the JE examination for that matter any entrance examination in any state majorly designed based on NCERT textbook. So I will be teaching you the concepts from NCERT textbook in a proper way and here and there I will come up with NCRT textbook examples also because solving textbook questions is very very important for any competitive examination and more important for board examination clear and all the aspects that I cover in the video mainly focuses on the competitive examination so whichever the topic that is more important for competitive exam that I will go in depth okay so please follow all the videos for maximum benefit definitely this will help you out to sharpen your concept clarity concept knowledge where that is the most important element that you should have to crack any competitive examination clear yeah? so let me start with the chapter hello alkanes and hello arenes so we know what do we mean by alkanes right they are saturated hydrocarbons are called alkanes. In an alkane, if I replace one hydrogen atom by halogen atom, then it becomes haloalkane. Suppose I have alkane methane. So CH4 is methane. So I will remove one hydrogen and I will add one halogen. So it's a very basic knowledge that X in the sense it can be any halogen atom, right? It can be chlorine, it can be fluorine, bromine or iodine, whatever it is. Okay. So I remove one hydrogen and I am adding one halogen. So what this gets converted into? It becomes CH3 and a fourth bond is with X. Okay, so here what you have observed is I am replacing, right? So we have replaced hydrogen atoms with halogens. So such compounds are called haloalkanes. Clear? So haloalkanes are generally represented with the formula Rx. So Rx is general formula this is general formula of haloalkanes haloalkanes so where r is nothing but any organic group it can be simple group like methyl group or it can be c2h5 group or it can be any complex organic group right so this is what the general formula that we use to represent haloalkanes. And now what do we mean by haloarenes? Suppose this is our benzene, right? So you have one hydrogen atom at every carbon. I will replace any one of the hydrogen atom with X. Then it becomes haloarene. Arene in the sense aromatic compound. The best aromatic and the simple aromatic compound we have is benzene. So if I can replace one hydrogen atom with any halogen, then I can call it as haloarene. Clear? And this is the general uh, formula for haloarenes. And one more thing, haloalkanes can also be called as alkyl halides. Alkyl halides. 
This is the general name, common name for haloalkanes. Whereas haloarenes are commonly called as aryl halides. Aryl halides. Okay, so these are the common names that we most of the times use. Okay, so this is our general introduction about haloalkanes and haloarenes. And now let us understand everything about classification of haloalkanes. See, majorly haloalkanes are classified based on two factors. The first one is based on the number of X atoms present in a molecule. Okay, definitely haloalkanes have X atoms, halogen atoms. So, based on how many X atoms we have in a molecule, uh, we can classify haloalkanes into different categories. And another concept is based on, this is very very important to understand, based on the type of, type of hybridization, hybridization to which, to which, X atom is attached that is halogen atom is attached okay so halogen atom is always attached to a particular carbon right so to what type of carbon the halogen is attached is it attached to sp2 hybridized carbon or is it attached to sp3 hybridized carbon you know this way based on this concept also we can classify haloalkanes Okay, so these are the two themes on which haloalkanes can be classified. Coming to the first category, that is based on number of X atoms. So depending on the number of X atoms, haloalkanes can be classified into three varieties. First one is monohaloalkanes, monohalo compounds. Okay, second one is dihalo compounds. And third one, polyhalo compounds. So the name itself tells you everything. What do you mean by monohalo compounds? The compounds that has got only one halogen atom. Suppose you look at these examples. CH3Cl. Right? Another example. CH3CH2Cl. Look over here. In these compound, halogen atom is only one. So such compounds where you have only one halogen atoms are called as monohalo compound. Coming to dihalo compound, the name itself says you, in these compounds, there are two halogen atoms present. It can be a same halogen atom or it can be a different halogen atom, doesn't matter. But in a single molecule, if you have two halogen atoms, then we call it as dihalo compounds. And most importantly, dihalo compounds are again classified into two varieties. One is geminal, geminal dihalides. This is very, very important to understand. Carefully listen to this. And the other one is vicinal vicinal dihalides. So let me first give you an example for geminal dihalides. Look over here CH3, CH, Cl, Cl, CH3. If you look at this compound, the compound has got two halogen atoms. Here actually both are same, both are chlorine atoms. But both are attached to same carbon. Okay, if two halogen atoms are present on same carbon, if two halogen atoms are present on same carbon, then it is called as geminal dihalides. But if the two halogen atoms are present on different carbon, look over here, look at this example. Even in this example, you have two halogen atoms, but they are on adjacent carbon atoms. The two halogen atoms are present on adjacent, adjacent carbon atoms. That means side to side. Okay. So such halides, dihalides are called as vicinal dihalides. Vicinal in the sense adjacent carbon atom. 
geminal in the sense both of them are present at a single carbon so this is the difference between geminal and vicinal very very important to understand coming to polyhalo compound nothing much to discuss here the name itself says if you have more than two halogen atoms suppose look over here ch cl ch2 cl okay so three halogen atoms are there in a single compound so more than two halogen atoms if you find in a compound they are called as polyhalo compounds so this is a very simple classification that we have studied based on the number of halogen atoms or x atoms now let us go for classification based on this particular theme so on what basis classification we have now it is based on the type of hybridization of carbon atom to which halogens are attached okay say so here again we can have two categories here so based on this particular concept or theme we have two types one is uh, halo alkanes in which you know x is attached to two where x is attached to two sp3 hybridized carbon sp3 hybridized carbon and the other one is x attached to sp2 hybridized carbon i'm not just writing a long sentence here just wrote it in a shortcut way okay so what are the two varieties under this particular concept the variety where x is attached to sp3 hybridized carbon and the other classification is where x is attached to sp2 hybridized carbon okay now let us see what all the types that come under this category see under this category you will have primary halo alkenes secondary halo alkenes and tertiary halo alkenes so hope you all are very well aware of the term primary compound secondary tertiary right primary halo alkane in the sense x is attached to two primary carbon say if you don't have idea on primary secondary and tertiary carbon you know i have covered this aspect in 11th chemistry the chapter basic principles of organic chemistry uh, the playlist link is provided in the description you can just go and check it out okay say so to understand class 12 organic chemistry chapters class 11 organic chemistry you should know that is basic without that you cannot understand class 12 organic chemistry okay so before you start these videos i will recommend you to watch all videos of basic principles of organic chemistry video links that is playlist link is provided in the description don't forget clear okay so what did i tell you if x is attached to primary carbon for example look over here ch3 ch2 cl okay see this carbon is called primary carbon so primary carbon is that carbon which has got only one cc bond around okay so if if a carbon has one bond with other carbon around then it is primary carbon if halogen is attached to primary carbon then it is called primary halo alkane okay if x is attached to secondary carbon look at this example so the carbon on which i have put a star mark no this is a secondary carbon because it has got two cc bonds around one is this side the other one is that side to such a carbon you have halogen attached and what is the hybridization of all these carbons it's sp3 right so what is the hybridization of this carbon sp3 because it has all single bonds around hybridization of this carbon this carbon also has sp3 okay so x is attached to sp3 carbon but that sp3 carbon is a secondary carbon here so such a halo alkane is called secondary halo alkanes similarly tertiary in the sense what tertiary carbon so this is tertiary carbon to tertiary carbon if halogen is attached then it is called as tertiary alkyl halide or tertiary halo alkane clear so this is 
uh, the different types under this particular heading and you have two more important types okay that is allyl haloalkanes allyl group which is very very important group allyl group in the sense look over here ch2 double bond ch2 so the hybridization of these carbons is sp2 sp2 right to this sp2 carbon if there is sp3 carbon like ch2 so now this carbon's hybridization is sp3 to this if halogen is attached then it is called as allyl allyl group so allyl haloalkane it is okay see halogen is attached to sp3 carbon that sp3 carbon is in turn attached to unsaturated carbons so this is unsaturated group to this unsaturated group there is a carbon but that carbon is saturated because it has all single bonds around it has got sp3 hybridization to that carbon if x is attached then it is called allyl haloalkane okay so very very important idea that you should have so here x is not directly attached to sp2 carbon or unsaturated carbon in between who is there saturated carbon is there okay so that is called allyl halide similarly we have benzyl halide benzyl halide in the sense same thing see this is benzene we know in benzene all carbons have sp2 hybridization so ch2 x look over here x is not directly attached to benzene but in in between who is there ch2 group is there and that carbon is sp3 hybridized isn't it so this carbon is sp3 hybridized so this compound is called as benzyl benzyl group it is so this meaning is very very important so all these varieties come under this category which is that category in all these categories look over here x is directly attached to sp3 hybridized carbon okay and coming to the category where x is attached to sp2 hybridized carbon so here you have two varieties one is vinyl halide vinyl look over this example ch2 double bond chx so here x is directly attached to unsaturated carbon which has got sp2 hybridization you should clearly know the difference between allyl and vinyl guys this is very very important in allyl also you have ch2 double bond ch2 group that is unsaturated carbons are there but x is not directly attached to those carbon in between there is a saturated carbon to that x is attached but here directly x is attached to unsaturated carbon so that is the difference between allyl and vinyl clear similarly you have aryl aryl halides that means on benzene directly if you have x atom okay again you should know the difference between benzyl and aryl in case of benzyl x is attached to some saturated carbon that saturated carbon is in turn directly attached to benzene but in case of aryl x is directly attached to benzene ring okay uh, that is uh, to a carbon which has got sp2 hybridization so this is all about the classification of haloalkanes so similar classification you will have for alcohols also in the next chapter where instead of cl cl you know instead of halogen we will put oh so understanding this way in a flow chart form is much easier okay so try to take a screenshot or at least try to copy as it is in your book definitely if you can learn like this you feel it more easy clear so this is all about classification of alkyl halides so now let us talk something about nomenclature so for nomenclature uh you know you should really have some necessary basics for that also like you should refer the videos of uh, 11th chemistry organic chemistry 
okay uh, now i will select a few examples from your ncert textbook and then i'll discuss those examples now if you look at these examples uh, you know different varieties of compounds that i have written on a board let's try to discuss iupac names one by one so that all your rules whatever the rules that you already know will get refreshed see whenever you have cl br iodine or any halogen atom we consider that as a prefix that means its name we will write starting not at the end not as a suffix we should write it starting okay that is as a prefix clear uh, look at this example ch3 ch2 ch cl ch3 so if something is mentioned in a bracket what does that mean that means that there is cl to this carbon not to this carbon it is to this carbon okay so this is your compound so how do you number it first you will have to number the carbon atoms in a chain right so if you number from left to right 1 2 3 4 so carbon having halogen atom gets number 3 but if you number from right to left 1 2 3 4 carbon having halogen atom gets number 2 so what is our rule says you should number in such a way that halogen attached carbon or any substituent group attached carbon should have a least number so right to left is a correct way of numbering so now writing a name so the name of this halogen is chloro right so this is attached to second carbon so we write it as 2 chloro 2 chloro then number of carbon atoms in a chain is 4 so but all single bonds a and a so this is 2 chloro butane right coming to this example ch3 twice c in the sense there are three ch2 groups attached to this carbon so let me write elaborately so this is one ch3 group this is another ch3 group this is third ch3 group okay so this is our compound now you will have to number definitely look over here the halogen attached carbon should have a least number right so we give preference to this carbon this is one this is two and this is three right and now you have a substituent group cl and you also have two substituent group that is methyl group so alphabetically c comes first so what i mention is 1 chloro 1 chloro hyphen 2 2 Two comma two dimethyl, dimethyl. Three carbon atoms are there, so I can name it as propane. Coming to third example, so here what we should do is double bond containing carbon will have more preference than the Br containing carbon. Okay, so we will start numbering from this side. So this is number one, this is two, and this is three. So how do we write the name? It is three bromo, three bromo. okay prop prop and one in okay so this is how we will name and coming to this compound ch3cl its common name is chloroform sometimes for some of the molecule you should remember the common names also that's very very important uh, you know this is also called as allyl bromide because look at this group this is allyl group isn't it so this is allyl bromide that's a common name so this is chloroform but iupac name this is only one uh, carbon atom is there so meth and to that cl is attached so what we write is chloromethane one carbon all single bonds so chloromethane similarly we write this as dichloromethane two chlorine atoms are attached to single carbon and you have only one carbon in a molecule so we write it as dichloromethane and coming to this example all these are from your ncert book itself so look over here see first selecting a longest chain is very very important see if i go it in this zigzag pattern 1 2 here nothing is there in the sense there is a carbon atom 1 2 3 4 5 so five carbons i can cover if i go it in this direction M maximum number of carbons have to be covered right so that's the way we select longest chain and numbering how do you give numbering either from down to up or up to down it's always from up to down because double bonded carbon should have more preference 
So if I number from up to down, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 and this is 5. But if I number it from bottom to up, 1, 2, 3, double bonded carbon will have 3 position. Where if I go from top, double bonded carbon is having second position. So minimum number you should have for double bonded carbon, right? So this is the correct way of numbering. Now writing a name. So you have bromo at fourth carbon, right? So we write it as 4 bromo. 4 bromo, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5 carbon atoms, so pent 2 in. So this is the name of that compound. Coming to this compound, okay, so here now double bonded carbons are this and this, right? So let me give number 1 for this. This is 2, this is 3 and this carbon is 4. Okay, so what I can write here is, look over here, you have two substituent groups here. One is Br, the other one is this CH3. Okay, alphabetically B comes first. So what I write is 3 bromo, uh, 2 methyl, 2 methyl. Okay, so 4 carbon atoms in a chain. So but 1 in. Okay, so this is the way uh, you have to follow to name halo alkenes. So you have many more examples in your book so you can practice and if you have any doubt you can post your doubt in a comment section.